Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Monday. The kids are off at school, and we've been really kind of busy trying to get things ready for us to go to FlipCon. We are flying out tomorrow morning, which means we're dropping the kids off at Grandma's tonight. So we've been packing bags. Reese is going to be over at Grandma's also. Uh, so just packing his bag, which is like his bed and his food and stuff, but maybe some carrots. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but we've been in a busy scramble, and I'm not even sure if this video is even going to be up. I'm hoping to get it up while we are in. Uh, North Carolina for FlipCon, but it's possible that it will go up after. And if that is the case, I'm sorry, but we were just so busy. But I am going to turn it over to Kathy to get start picking. We do have our weekends sales to pull, so I think we have about 40 items to go through. We and the C word. Yeah. So he's running over here like I have it. He's Ooh, he's also it. like in you know when we're packing oh, bags yeah, and stuff, he gets in this like you're gonna forget me kind of mode. So he'll probably you. be in our feet while we're, <laughs> look at him looking at those Nobody's treats. He's forgetting you. He is really begging for one of those. All right. We'll give you one in a minute, Bubba. <laughs> Starting over here. Sold some Franco Sardo sandals for $19 plus shipping on Poshmark. Or no, not Poshmark, Mercari. Very nice. Uh, that was an offer someone sent. I accepted I had six twenty nine into those. Um, and I think, yeah, just because we don't have time, we're not going to show how things are packed. And we're probably going to have to do a couple different uh, I got probably loads, I guess. The table only fits like 20 or so. Because it is 1.30 on Monday, and we still have a lot to do today. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so these Hunter boots for $17 on Posh. These are my sons. I can only get around $30 for them, including shipping. So 17 buyer pay shipping, tax, and everything. They're all in about... $30, I felt that was fair. Um, my son wore these a ton, so I feel like we got our money's worth out of them. Yeah. And I'm making back 13 something, so not too bad. All right, DL. It is all the way up here, you see. I'm gonna step on ya. Watch that basket might fall. This one? Yeah. No, the oh, other one. No. <laughs> what is, oh. Okay. Sold a sweater out of here? Yeah, these are just sweaters that were so big. I don't like hanging sweaters because they like leave the the hanger marks, marks in the shoulders. So, anyways, is this it? This is it. There this it is. is. It. Okay. And anyways, these are too big to fit in our like plastics. So yeah, right they're in there with nothing. Uh, this is just like an Eddie Bauer vintage sweater. It's just cotton, not wool, but it is USA made. Just like a waffle knit. It's been listed since February, which I did pay $7.99 for it. Got an offer of $18 today on Posh. I just went ahead and accepted. I'm only making about $6 profit. Mm -hmm. But that's what happens when someone six, sits for six months. So. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, C, D. Dude. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any sleeping footage of us. <laughs> Dude, yeah. ah, he's jumping up on me. Reese. <laughs> All right, so these Skechers, men's like a Oxford waterproof shoe. Bought for $4.99. These have been listed a long time, so ended up in our 50% off eBay. Plus, I sent an additional offer. They sold for $14.22 plus shipping. Okay. Still about an $8 profit, so it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. All right, BR. This was a kind of fun sale. Oh, yeah. we just had another sale come in. Uh, I forgot I even listed this like, so that's why it was fun. This is just a little card game we got at a garage sale over the summer for a dollar. ASAP, the quick think game. Never played it. Looks super old. Anyways, listed it. Sold it for fourteen sixty six plus shipping. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have any more of these. Oh, those oh, little padded bubbles? Showing. Yeah. I had some padded colors, but I think they used them all. Oh, well. Okay. You, yeah, you forgot you were, we weren't showing yeah. stuff today. <laughs> uh, Something keen. Pair of shoes. Cool. Yeah. All right, BP. This was a cool sale, too. I always, like, 
feel excited when I get a global shipping, but then I always forget to check where it's going. Oh, oh yeah. But this one are just some Crocs like Karachi sandals. Bought for $5.99, sold for $34.95 plus ship. I didn't see they were going global shipping. Why I noticed was because like their buyer was all in like 80 something dollars for these wow. Crocs, which is crazy, but I'm happy about that. Yeah. Little crop seal. If I do get the chance, I'll I'll see where it's going and I'll yeah. put that w right here. If you know, in case it's something cool, which <laughs> you know, anything's Canada's cool, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. Uh, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Are you gonna let us work? Are you gonna let us work? Are you? Are you? Sounds like our laundry's done. <laughs> oh, all sorts of sounds happening. I uh, sold some Clarks, just a nice cap toe slip on. Bought for $7.99, sold for $35.95 plus shipping. Okay, DM. Up top. Some cut from the cloth jeans that I got at the bins. I had zero dollars still in the spreadsheet, so probably a day that I took stuff to Plato's and already broke even. Oh, gotcha. So nothing into 1996 plus shipping. Wow. Yeah. BP again. These are the brand Zero, but it's X-E-R-O. Right. It's like a barefoot minimalist shoe. Bought for $9.99, sold for $35, so not too bad. These were getting so much interest, but so many low offers, like in the $20 range. Mm -hmm. um, this person first offered 30, I countered, and they came up to 35, so I took it. They don't retail for a ton, but they're basically like brand new looking. Yeah. So I was trying to get closer to the retail price, but I'm good with 10 into 35. Okay, CZ, some natives. I like a youth size, bought for $5.99, sold for $24.95 plus shipping. B.O. Some men's billabong swim chunks. Super cute little toucans. Bought for $2, sold for $14 plus shipping. Those sat a while. I think I bought them at the beginning of the summer, so a couple months. A G. This is funny because it was another two can item. I love two cans. Huh. Two two can items. Huh? <laughs> we were looking for Chris a Hawaiian shirt the other day just to wear like at FlipCon. I guess the first night is semi Hawaiian, like Hawaiian theme. So yeah. I had a shirt for myself that's I guess kind of Hawaiian. Anyways, he didn't. So we were looking for one, and the one I wanted him to get had like two cans on it, but they didn't have his size. So yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Although this might have fit you. I wish you would have tried this on. It's a cool toucan. The brand is Toucan Dance. It looks like a cool vintage tag. Um, yeah. I should I have tried that would, on. Yeah, I thought this would sell right away, but it's been listed for months. Uh, paid $5.94, sold for $23.96 plus shipping. Not too bad. Maybe we can uh, ship it out on Friday. Uh, <laughs> You'll wear it. <laughs> wear it. Not spill anything on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's why I can't ever, like, borrow my inventory. <laughs> At least, unless, as long as it's not listed, I would wear something and then sell it. But. All right, this is going out to our viewer, Maria. Some Sorrel Duck Boots. Maria Mancini. Maria. <laughs> Uh, these I got at Play-Doh's. I have ten seventy nine into them. They had them under like priced, and then I had a coupon on top of it, so that's why they were so low. But yeah, Maria bought them for thirty two forty seven plus shipping. So thank you, Maria. Maria, thank you so I much. Think that's Reese saying thank Sorry, you. Sorry, yeah, he's well. over there groaning and <laughs> making old dog noises. <laughs> these have been up top for a bit, so I will definitely get those dusted off before yeah. I send them to you. Thanks again for that support, Maria. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. Kid clothes bin. You're shirt it. snacks. <laughs> Why don't you lay on your bed? Uh, one of my son's old peak shirts, just like baseball themed. Bought for, I don't know, I put a question mark. I don't know what I bought this for. <laughs> Sold it for $20.95 plus shipping, so probably paid less than I sold it for, and he got to wear it. 
All right, CB. Got some Death Pile Dance goes. Hey. <laughs> Those were on that rack last week. Listed them, sold them. Paid $7.99, sold for $33 plus shipping on Mercari. Very nice. Yeah, we've yet to fill up the rack, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and actually, by the time we pull all this out, we're probably not listing or putting anything else away till we get back, so. Right. We should have plenty, we have a bin of shoes in our closet when we ran out of space, so we can probably bring that up and actually fill in the Oh, that's true, yeah. That, so. Okay, so this Nike women's bikini for 29 plus ship, I bought for 10 retail arbitrage. BQ, some hokas. These are the ones I got on Chris's haircut haul day. <laughs> Calling it a haircut haul, like Kevin, how he like names all of right. his like grudges. <laughs> the thing I think his actually coordinate with his videos though, so no, people are gonna look back and be like, "What? Where do I Did find you know, that video?" You didn't call it anything. I think I, 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 I think it was the one where we were running errands. Oh, you just I, called it errands running. Yeah. This came from the errands running day haul. <laughs> uh, anyways, bought these for twelve ninety nine, and I remember showing like one of them. Like they have, you probably can't see it, but like that damage a little bit. Yeah, you know, shoes usually get like a little yeah. tear up, torn Hoka's, up right there. Yeah. I feel like Hoka's always have that. Anyways, I knew it was there. Still paid twelve ninety nine for them. Figured I could get at the very least like forty dollars. Ended up getting 54 plus shipping pretty wow. quickly. What, like a week or so? Yeah. So I will take that any day. All right, shoe shelf number two is this one. <laughs> so even less shoes on it now. Yeah. Sold these Polo Ralph Lauren boots. Bought these for $18.99. Sold them for $79 plus shipping. All right, DQ. Are you doing that because I packed up the label oh, one time? This was like, <laughs> it didn't feel like it was going to slip in there easily. One time, uh, you know, Kathy puts the, the label inside the tall boots like that, and I had fully packed up <laughs> the boots and left the label inside the the shoes like uh, sometime last week. <laughs> uh, so this, the brand is Little Co. Lauren Conrad, just from Kohl's. Was my son's hoodie sold for 12 plus shipping on Facebook? I probably paid 10 to 15 for it at Kohl's originally. All right, eight, eight, sold some Rothies. Sold some Rothies. <laughs> that could be today's title of the video. What I feel it? like Rothies are always. Give it to me because I have a hard time with the titles. Come on. I said sold some Rothies. Oh, that's, that's the title. It? That's yeah, the title? that's it. <laughs> we sold, sold some Rothies. Rothies. Okay. <laughs> and the some other stuff. Too. That's gonna be the title. We sold some Rothies <laughs> and some other stuff. Two. <laughs> Two. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. These I bought for twelve eighty seven. Sold for eighty dollars on Posh. That was an offer I accepted. I nice. had them listed at one fifty nine, which was reaching. eBay like the comps were weird. Like there was a couple sold in the one forty range, but then the most of them were in the eighty. So I did accept the eighty. I thought it was a fair offer. The people that paid the 140 probably just really wanted that and that was the only one in their size and whatnot so mm -hmm. they, this is a retired one so yeah i was just in the mood to take 80 dollars today yeah and i'm still happy i did i could pay for parking while we're <laughs> at flip gone we're like debating do we park at the like parking closer to the airport that costs a little more or do we park a little cheaper ride the bus all in. that time yeah riding the bus which we are packing pretty light, so it wouldn't be that bad. We don't have the kids with us, so. Yeah. But the convenience of being close, you know. And it's a run off anyways, right? Hey, I that's mean. true. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this United by Blue, cute little beanie. Bought at the bins for $1.37 at the bins. Um, sold for $16 on pop. Sweet. That was so cute. I really wish that fit our kit, but yeah. it didn't. Okay, and then A-N. It's too small. Our kids have big heads. Yeah, it's like a toddler <laughs> size. So these AGL flats. Bought for $5.99, sold for $39 on Posh. That was my fullest price. Sweet. So that's the first batch. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this stuff packed up. Reese, you got all this energy. You gonna help us today? No? If he wants carrots, he is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
You don't even have one? Give him a treat. I don't have Give him a treat. Please. He was staring at him a little bit ago. It's like he takes us <laughs> takes advantage of these situations when he knows something's going on. <laughs> well, we'll get these packed up and then we'll show you guys what else has sold for us. All right, guys, got that first batch packed up. Looking good. Looking good. Reese was uh finally laying down. <laughs> I'm gonna try to not say his name again now. <laughs> his eyes opened up. <laughs> Close them. Kathy did end up printing that label for that sale that we did have, so we're gonna pull that in this batch also. They already also have a sticker on them, so I don't, I don't know if I sold these and someone canceled or oh. what. Oh, is this them? These, the yeah, keys? this is what sold when the ding went off. Gotcha. But I, I might have just did it because like maybe the thing wasn't stuck here. Maybe it folded funny. I don't know. Oh, you know, I, I think it has this. Our kid, when our kid was doing them, look how he like put the seal like right at the top. But like, oh. we would fold it and like fold it around himself. But he was just like putting them right at the top and yeah. them. So then I just did that instead of <laughs> gotcha. redoing it, wasting a bag or anything like that. So pre stickered. Anyways. Hey, it yeah. saves us time now. Uh, little baby Keen booties bought for three ninety nine, sold for twenty one fifty five plus shipping. Okay, Starbucks cup. This one, oh. bought with my point, so I paid nothing for it. Sold for $30 with discount shipping on uh, Poshmark, so making 20 something dollars off that. Awesome. Yeah. Speaking of coffee, thank you for everyone who has supported us by buying us a coffee. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, <laughs> but we do go to Starbucks, right? And then we rack up those reward points, and that's what Kathy meant. Yeah, and then we, I uh, buy, because when you get 400 points on the Starbucks app, you can buy $20 merchandise. Yeah, so, that's so we I buy do. stuff to resell, <laughs> like, a, like true <laughs> resellers. <laughs> And what's crazy is like that cup doesn't even, I mean, I'm sure I already pulled the price tag off, but this is probably like 18, yeah, 18.95. If you just go there and buy it straight up. So, right. Even though like if I did pay that, obviously it's not worth selling for 30 with discount shipping, but since I'm getting them for free, mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Like some Starbucks mugs are worth like hundreds of dollars. Just like, yeah. a cool older pattern print. I wish I could predict which ones are gonna get popular. <laughs> I guess you. I'm sure if you like know about it, you can probably kind of figure it out. But. Yeah. Anyhow, sold some shoes. <laughs> Naturalizer. These are actually pretty cute little booties. I don't pick up all Naturalizer. This was just a really cute style. They were cheap-ish. Six twenty-nine is what I paid. Sold for forty with discount shipping. I just felt like these would be like a perfect fall shoe. Seems like they're gonna be for somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of naturalizer and pass. There's a one kind of flats that usually do well and I usually buy those, but otherwise I don't buy everything. So a pair of Sorel boots. I think these are them. They're all packed in there. <laughs> We've been trying to make as know, good of use boots. as this space as we can. I'm glad this was a good offer because I'm like, I want to get rid of all the tall boots, but yeah. so these are worth. I was hoping for about a hundred. Someone offered eighty. I thought that was fair. So yeah. I did pay 30 for these just off like local marketplace. I just did a porch pickup for them. So I paid 30, sold for 80. It's about a $34 profit, which is still really good. Okay. Love Sorel boots. Yeah, I sold another pair of these, I think for over a hundred, a couple pair around a hundred to like 120. I was just saying, hey, that box almost looks like it'd be perfect yeah, for those. Yeah, actually you just brought oh, did this you? morning. Oh, okay. Well, not, I knew I sold some boots this weekend. I feel like I might've sold another pair. I don't know. Anyways, in my head, I was like, that might work for those. Okay. We're almost all out of boxes. Yeah. We forgot to place our just even USPS order. Yeah, we went or through the trailer. For FlipCon, I'm like, I don't want to place it today because they true. might come. So now I got to remember to place it. We're like, going to try to place it while we're right. there so that they arrive kind of around the time we yeah. do. <laughs> but yeah, we were going through our trailer where we keep all of our extra boxes. And we made a list of everything we had to order. We just haven't done it. <laughs> that was like two weeks ago. We were using our eBay, which we need yeah. to place an order of those too. These, so I had to cut down a few of them. Hopefully we have enough boxes to get through today. <laughs> and then we might need to just purchase some at like Walmart for until our orders come in. So. Yeah. Uh, sold some Skechers. I did pay up for these at $14.99, which is way a lot for Skechers. And I got an offer of 30, which I think I could have got closer to 40 if I held out. They look like they've been worn maybe like one time. Hmm. They're also a wide fit and a slip on, which is 
usually sells well, but I went ahead and just accepted the 30, being as I'm kind of worried about sales this week since we're not going to be doing a whole lot. Yeah. So I was like, at least... I wanted my August numbers to be better than they were, so I was like, I'll just accept most offers this last weekend. So it's about a seven, almost eight dollar profit on those. So yeah, and we have set our eBay store. We did. We were contemplating not setting it to time away mode, but we did this morning because we're not going to be able to ship from this point on until probably Saturday. Saturday, maybe Friday, maybe Friday but depends. Saturday, maybe even Monday, depending <laughs> on yeah. the the volume of sales we get we're not expecting a ton or anything no, but because i don't know if i'm gonna list while we're there yeah. i had hoped to but never works out <laughs> that i actually get ahead so right uh yeah i mean maybe five to ten sales will roll in a day that's what i'm expecting so. yeah all right uh some torrid booties bought for 10.99 accepted a 30 dollar offer on those Got a viewer sale. She bought three pairs of shoes. Let me grab them all first. Yeah. Let me... oh. Need help? <laughs> Get in there. Be wise. And DM. These are going out to Marie. So she watches our vids. So a pair of Meryl, pair of the Gobi. Was that what it was called? Gobi. Okay. Really cute little elephant claws. And some Sperry like low top duck boots. Marie offered 90 for the three and I accepted. So my total cost of goods for the three pairs was about 31.52. So okay. thank you so much, Marie. For Marie. Yeah. Purchase, helping us free up some space in our box. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that amazing videos. support. I love these so much. Yeah, those are, are those the ones with the element, yeah, uh, the really face? Cute. Yeah, those were cool. <laughs> we had those for a little while, for surprisingly. Yeah, probably, uh, probably less than three still. Awesome. They had a lot of interest. I way overpriced them, like on eBay. Oh. So they'll end up in one of our sales yeah. at some point. <laughs> right, right. Thanks so much for that support again, Marie. <laughs> and hope you enjoy those shoes. Why didn't you say uh, thank you? Like yeah, you say thank you. Maria. Mar Maria. Mar Maria and Marie. <laughs> Maria. Maria. Well, Is it Maria? Yeah, Maria Mancini. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, and Marie, yeah. Like, tongue twisting myself. <laughs> okay. That's funny. All right. Sold an Xbox remote. Hey, I had a sale. <laughs> well, Kathy listed it and everything, but. I think I even found it. Didn't I? <laughs> you did, yeah. And you just were like, talked me into getting it. Because like, it was five ninety nine, and the sales were like 20 18 mm -hmm. to 20 so I'm like, I mean, normally $10 profit's fine. And because it was sealed, I was like, yeah, that's yeah. fine. But if it was open, definitely not. Yeah, it had a pretty good sell-through rate, yeah. which we were kind of hoping for a quick sale. We did, Yeah, right? it sold in like a day or two of yeah. people listed. So five ninety nine into nineteen ninety five plus shipping, not too bad. Yeah. All right, CG. Brings back memories. That was my first DVD player as a kid was the Xbox. I write down the wrong. I don't see them here, so I might have wrote down the wrong thing. Unless they're like way squished in the They could be squished. I feel like I just listed them, so they should be like in oh, the yeah. very back or on the top. Pretty side. obvious. In, oh, in the box. I bumped into him. He's like all under my feet. Oh, geez, another sale. <laughs> another pair of Franco Sarto. Evil Barefoot. AG. AG. <laughs> okay, that was the... The nice thing about our spreadsheet is it does always actually keep the bin of the item. So even though we marked it as sold and all that, we still had the historical, I guess, figure of the, the box location. So that's good. Those are those cute little Vivo Barefoot toddler shoes. I tried them on my son. They were a little too small, which I'm a little sad, but also I'm like, these are worth a good amount of money. So $350 into $40 plus shipping for little baby shoes. Nice. Okay. Now CG, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty good little sale. 
Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> She's just playing games oh, with was, us now. That was TV. Wait. That's funny. That's where I was just looking for the other shoe, right? Yeah. Maybe I just like printed these at the same time and just like. Oh, just the double down. the. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are some Brooks women's. I've been having way less luck with Brooks lately, but these have been listed a long time. I paid $6.99, but sold for $56 plus shipping. So pretty good. Yeah. All right. Head into box B. Aw, stuffing so cute. Stuffing Laying on that so Reese Bear. <laughs> He's trying to get our attention so hard. <laughs> sold some Allbirds. These are my personal shoes. I bought them for about 55 and I sold them for 50 And I did wear them a few times, so. Yeah. Good enough for me. Hanging. I think there's a couple things in the closet hanging that I sold. Well, this was the first one. This is another one. So sold the other bra the other day. This one sold for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. I paid $10.90 for that. And the brand is the Keck. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> it's like the Lane Bryant bras. Kasik, Kachik, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was the other one. The brand is Freedom Foundry. I just bought this because it was like a shacket. Yeah. Paid $6.99, sold for $22 plus shipping. Sweet. Okay, box V, some Tiva. Let's see, Tiva's and V. <laughs> we do get the question quite a bit if there's any correlation between what's in the box, like would abercrombie be an a right and and there's none right so if you ever if it's ever it is a coincidence <laughs> if we ever have anything like yeah. that so uh so chiva sandals sold for 25 dollars plus ship i paid 6.99 for those okay and i know a v for tiva would be quite a stretch <laughs> just, <laughs> I was just reminded me of a that. joke about because like tiva tiva right, we think the real pronunciation is Tava, right? Like well, I don't. I, I, you do. No, <laughs> I think it's you Tava. told me. That's why I've been saying it oh. like that. And I was so annoyed every single time that you're like saying that's the correct way to say it. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't think it is, but okay. <laughs> so then I'm saying it like annoyed every time myself. <laughs> and I'm sorry to cause this me. trouble in your life. I'm so sorry. <laughs> tell me that's how you say it. Because we like watched this video about mm -hmm. it. Did they that's say Tava? That's how they said that you say it. Oh. I don't care if that's how you say it. Right. I like to say it Tiva. Well, yeah. So from now until the rest of that's the That's how I've heard most people I'm say, say it, it, so. <laughs> so this Eddie Bauer fleece, is that how you say that? Eddie Bauer? Eddie Bauer. No, Bo not yet. <laughs> Bauer. Uh, this has actually been listed a really long time, and it was in our 50% off sale on eBay, but actually sold on Kitizen through their Facebook program. So it sold to a Facebook okay. buyer, but through Kitizen. Gotcha. So because of that, it sold for my fullest price, which was $29.95 free shipping versus it was listed on eBay at that point for like $10 plus shipping. Okay. So I paid a $5.99 for the fleece originally, paid $5.50 for shipping through Kitizen. So still left some profit there. Yeah. Kitizen Facebook Marketplace yeah. program for the win. <laughs> Helping us make more I money. Had one of those, <laughs> right. But. Just came in clutch. This was a really good sale. These are Echo, but they're like women's cute little side zip boots, and they are Gore-Tex. So I listed at 100, got an offer for 80, and accepted. I paid five dollars for these, so really, really good sale. What? No, sorry, I'm yawning. One. Sorry, <laughs> I was in shock. That's what. <laughs> Shocked about my 80 dollars shoe sale. Hey, move your butt. Move your butt. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so vocal today. <laughs> Don't, oh, oh, gosh, <laughs> stop, Reese. Got another death pile sale. These Jordans were on there for a long time, mostly just because they were really scuffed up, dirty, and everything. I got them for free, so I wasn't like super motivated just to list them because of all the flaws I was gonna have to show. But once I got them listed, they had a ton of interest on all platforms right away and ended up selling on Posh for 40 with discount shipping. So wow. about a 30 something dollar profit, all profit. And that's at least the second item that was in our death pile, right? That yeah, has just, sold today or over the weekend, I guess. first week, yeah. And those all birds that were mine have been up there for a long time, yeah. so. Get your death piles listed. Yeah. 
There's no excuse. <laughs> this has not sold. This is a really nice Zaya fleece that we got. Not this last spring break, but the one before it in Omaha. Mm. It looks brand new. I've seen other people sell the same one. And yeah, so if anyone wants that, go check out the shop. <laughs> but what I did sell was these Nike golf shorts. Um, bought for seven, sold for 28 with discount shipping on top. That was it. We did have that other yeah. sale come in, so we'll pull that after we get these all packed up and ready to go and add them to that kind of beautiful <laughs> pile right yeah. there. So we'll be right back. <laughs> all righty, guys. Got uh, everything packed up. Yeah. <laughs> and we did have that other sale come through. Kathy's already pulled it. Um, yeah. So what was it? Franco Sardo wedges. $23.96 plus shipping, I bought for five. I normally pass on this brand. I haven't had good luck with it in the past. I usually only buy it if it's around the $5 mark. And in really good shape. It's just funny, both of the pairs I had listed sold this week right now. So. Hey. Yeah, I mean, I'll still pick it up for that price. Probably not like, right. normal shoes I'd pick up like up to $10 mostly. So yeah, just one of those things. Yep. All right, so we'll just that's gonna go in that padded yeah. flat rate. Um, it's gonna be loud, so I won't yeah, we'll it. wait till off after the video, but that's about it. It is, it's uh, right about three o'clock. We still have to get stuff packed up for the kids. They have taekwondo tonight, which we really want them to go tonight because they're starting to give out curriculum stripes, which is what they need to kind of get their next color belt. So we we know they're missing like the rest of the week. They usually go like three nights a week, two or three nights a week, and. Um, we don't want them to miss a whole week, especially when they're starting to do curriculum stripes. So we're going to really try to make sure they get there tonight. But if we aren't able to, we're not going to we're going to have to cut it, which kind of stinks. But um, anyway, we're going to get this stuff off to the post office and get back to packing. <laughs> we're, uh, I'm excited. Are you excited to go to FlipCon? More nervous. Nervous. I'm and I'm not, I'm not excited. I don't know. It's like like today has been absolutely exhausting, <laughs> but yeah. it is going to be nice to be able to get away. We're getting there, uh, I think, a day early, and uh, you know hopefully. we'll just <laughs> so hopefully no yes, right. We're we're prone to having travel problems. <laughs> it's like the Marvin curse or something. But um, so we we're flying out a day early to hopefully avoid any of that and at least have a plan B. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of the amazing support we had today. We do greatly appreciate all of that. And we will see you guys as soon as we get back from FlipCon, hopefully with a good amount of footage and pictures and all that fun stuff. So we will see you guys then. Bye.